Hi, this is Suzanne for Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the Rainbow Blooms bracelet. This is an advanced level design. To make this bracelet you will need 32A colored bands, 14B, 7C, 13D, 6E colored bands, and a C-clip. It's a good idea to have your supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. Refer to the diagram on your screen as you place a pattern of six A-colored bands to form a hexagon. We'll start from the center pin and place our first band from the center pin out to the left. Band 2A will be placed forward. and 3A back to the center. Then we return to the center pin and place 4A. Five 5A will be placed up the right and 6A back to the center. And there we've placed one hexagon. Refer to this diagram as you place four more hexagons on your loom. I'll fast forward from here. Now that we've placed five hexagons, notice that we've left the last section of the loom empty. So we get ready to place more bands. Move these down on the pin. Just push them down. Now refer to the diagram on the screen to place six B colored bands on the second hexagon to make your first bloom. You'll start at the two o'clock position and place the bands clockwise around the center pin. It's very important that these are placed in this exact order and push the bands down after you've placed them. Next, use the same diagram and place six C-colored bands on the third hexagon. Again, start from the two o'clock position and place the bands clockwise around the center pin. Now place six B-colored bands on the fourth hexagon. Again, start from the two o'clock position and place these bands clockwise around the center pin. Refer to the diagram on your screen and place six D colored bands around the second hexagon. Start here and place band one. Band two. Three. Go back to the beginning and place band four. Five. Six, and then on the center pin we'll place a cap band. We'll use the same color band as the center of our bloom. Place two fingers 
on each side, twist it to a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on that center pin. Then we move to the next bloom. We'll place six E-colored bands around the edge of this third hexagon. One, two, three, go back to the beginning, four, five, Six. Again on this center pin we'll place a cap band. We'll use the same color as the bloom. Place two fingers through each side, twist it to a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on that center pin. Now we place six decolored bands around the edge of the fourth hexagon. One, two, Three. Go back to the beginning. Four. Five. Six. And we place a cap band on that center pin. Then at the end of our bracelet, we'll place an A colored cap band on the last pin. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. Now we'll loop the six B-colored petals of the first bloom. Refer to the diagram on your screen. It's very important that the bands are looped in the correct order. Start at the six o'clock position and loop the bands counterclockwise. With your hook, pull back the cap band and grab band 1B. Then we'll loop 2B. It's the top B colored band in there. You pull that out and loop it around this pin. Then we'll be grabbing the next band and looping it out. That's 3B. Four B will be looped. It's the next band in there. Pull that out and 5B. And 6B. Continue this looping pattern for the remaining two blooms. You may want to pause the video here until you finish. Now loop the A-colored bands to complete this bracelet. We'll start from this pin, pull the cap band back, and you'll loop band 1A out to the left. Now you're going to loop the bottom band forward, pull those bands back, grab it, and then you loop it into the center pin. Return to the beginning, loop it out to the right, 
loop it forward. Again, you're grabbing the bottom band and pulling it each time. Now as we loop these A colored bands, it gets a little trickier because there's so many bands on top. So you put your hook down through the channel and on this one you'll be grabbing the top A band and pulling it out to the left. So pull the bands back, find that top A band, and then there I've grabbed the wrong one. So you put it back, move your hook around the pin between the bands, and hopefully you get all your bands back in the right order. And again, we're going to be trying to grab the top A band and pulling it out to the left. And then you can see how it pulls into that point that you've grabbed the right band. Loop it to the left, it forms the teardrop shape. Then we'll loop this next one forward. Pull all the bands above that bottom A band back with your hook. Grab the A band and pull it forward. Then we'll be pulling the A-band to the center pin. Then you return to the beginning. You're going to, with your hook, go down through the channel, pull all the bands above the A-colored band back, grab it, and pull it out to the right. Then we'll be looping the bottom A-colored band forward. You pull all the bands above it back, grab it, Pull it forward. Then we'll loop the A into the center, grab it, pull it to the center. Start from here. Again, it is tricky getting the top A colored band. With your hook, pull all these bands back. Grab the top A colored band and pull it out to the left. All the bands above the A colored band here and pull that forward. And your A colored band will be pulled to the center. Then return to the beginning pin. Pull the A colored band out to the right, then forward. And then to the center. And there we've completed looping all of the bands. Now it's time to finish the bracelet. On this last pin, pull all the bands up to the top. Slide your hook down through the channel and tilt it out to the side. Place an A colored band on the end of your hook and pull back. Slide your hook up through the channel and place both ends of the band on your hook and move it to the thickest part. Now with your fingers, lift the bands from the loom. And remove your bracelet. Now this is how your bracelet looks when it's first pulled from the loom. This is a bracelet that will need some adjustments. 
So you'll pull each of the outer petals out. on each side and then you'll need to adjust your inner petals just kind of pull top and bottom to get them to about the same size and once you've done that you're ready to extend your bracelet if made on one loom this bracelet will need to be extended to fit a wrist comfortably to extend the bracelet you must first decide how many additional bands you'll need You'll place these bands on a single chain up one side of your loom. Smaller wrists may need only three or four bands. Larger wrists may need six or more. So you place these bands in a single chain. And once you've completed placing these bands, you'll place the cap band from your bracelet on the last pin and stretch it to the one just behind it. So on the end of your bracelet, you locate the cap band. You stretch that from the last pin to the one behind it. And now you're ready to start looping your single chain extension. You loop these bands, and once you've looped this last band, you'll stretch it to the middle pin and this creates an area for you to attach your C-clip. Grab your C-clip with the open side facing forward and snap that over your bands. Once that's on there securely you can lift your extension from the loom. On the other end of your bracelet pull your hook away, slide two fingers into those bands and this is where you attach the other side of your C-clip. Move all the bands to one side and then you can attach the C-clip to these bands. And there you have your finished Rainbow Blooms bracelet. Mm -hmm.